हैप्पीनेस इज अ ग्लिम्स ग्लिम्स ऑफ वॉट ग्लिम्स ऑफ एबसेंस ऑफ सफरिंग दैट्स वाई वी लाइक हैप्पीनेस दैट्स वाई एवरीबडी सेज आई वॉन्ट टू बी हैप्पी वाई डू वी से वी वॉन्ट टू बी हैप्पी बिकॉज अवर डिफॉल्ट स्टेट इज ऑफ सफरिंग एंड मैन सफर्स मच मोर देन एनी अदर बींग इन द वर्ल्ड मैन इज अ सफरिंग एनिमल अदर क्रिएचर्स हैव पेन बट नॉट सो मच सफरिंग टू सफर यू रिक्वायर अ कॉन्शियसनेस विथ डेप्थ यू कुड से मैन इज बॉर्न सफरिंग एंड मैन इज बॉर्न टू सफर दैट इज द अरेन्जमेंट हिज फिजिकल एपरेटस has ensured for him suffer trapped in this body you want great things to happen to you suffer that which your consciousness wants militates against everything that your body has arranged for you it's a very very peculiar situation you could call it tragic that which your consciousness wants is not at all what your body is configured to give you so the body gives you one thing and what consciousness wants is not merely different but dimensionally different so man suffers because we suffer therefore we are always hungry for happiness that's why in the world of homo sapiens happiness is such a precious commodity everybody wants it without exception if you just probe a little you will find that happiness is being sold happiness is valuable for the human being because he is suffering now there is a glitch what is the glitch the normal common happiness as we get it is just a by product of suffering those who have known that have said that our so called happiness is just another name for sadness or suffering it cannot come without sadness it comes along with sadness or it comes as a product of sadness and it is not merely preceded by sadness it is also succeeded by sadness so the happiness that we get is just a glimpse it is just a glimpse it is a valuable glimpse even if for a limited time it still tells us that freedom from suffering is possible it is a trailer a 30 second trailer to a 3 hour movie the thing is that trailers don't last long and trailers are free for the movie you have to pay your way in so happiness comes to you so that you become interested you become inquisitive your longing gains depth and you ask for permanent happiness you say oh this that was given to me was so ephemeral 30 seconds that's all no 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 it was good but i want the real thing i want that which will last and thank you for giving this little happiness to me it wetted my appetite now i want deeper happiness and that is called cultivation of happiness 30 seconds were given to you you ate them up and you said fine the seeds were given to me what did i do with the seeds this is consumption of happiness that's what most people do and then there is another one who starts loving the taste he says i just had a few seeds and if these seeds are so delicious i would want them to become my life i don't just want to gobble them down my throat i'll sow them i let them strike roots deep into the earth my earth my inner earth i let them become full fledged trees for me this cultivation of happiness is called in classic parlance as the pursuit of anand this consumption of happiness is called bhog consumption of sukh anand is cultivated this cultivation you could call as sadhana with sukh no sadhana is needed for anand sadhana is definitely needed that our normal happiness is ephemeral and dualistic 
dualistic because it is preceded and succeeded by so it is dualistic and great happiness is permanent and non-dual non-dual because it is freedom and total freedom from suffering it is freedom not merely from sadness but also from superficial happiness real happiness which is joy or anand is freedom not merely from sadness but also from superficial happiness and that is called cultivation of happiness if you are a little man what will you do with the seeds that are given to you for instant gratification but if you have something large a bit expansive within you then you will be patient then you will say i am prepared to work my way through to deeper happiness and you will use the seeds you will use the trailer to reach a place far deeper